Hi, I'm Rod Saunders from Jew and Greek. The other day, Dr. Michael Brown posted this on X, formerly known as Twitter. For those asking why I pulled out of American Gospel 3 after investing many hours of my time into it, the answer is that from the start I had a written agreement that if I was not happy with the content and changes were not made to my satisfaction, I would withdraw. When I saw where the project was going, which was in a different direction than I was told it would be going, Despite my best efforts to get things pointed in a right direction, and when I saw that good people were being misrepresented and important issues dealt with unfairly, I could not lend my name to such a project. It was not honoring to the Lord, it was not healthy for the body, and it was not fair to the viewers. Personal integrity, love for the truth, and concern for the well-being of the church caused me to withdraw. I addressed this in a video I did in September of last year. Here's a clip from that video. I got an email from the producer of American Gospel. Uh, the email came last November, and, and I want to read, uh, you know, there's a personal background and interaction, but I want to read the relevant portions of this. This was sent to me by Brandon Kimber. My goal is to, it says great, I believe, typo for create, an honest and balanced film, and I think your participation is a step toward making that a reality. I do not intend to approach this topic for a cessationist continuous divide. I intend to bring both groups together in our common critique of certain hyper-charismatic teachings and practices that are commonly connected to those who believe in the modern-day offices of apostle or, um, and prophet. And then he posted this on his Facebook page. And he said, we're asking for your prayers today for today's AG, American Gospel 3 interview with Dr. Michael Brown, like AG2, we're interviewing people we disagree with, with the hope of asking challenging questions and calling to repentance. And that was Brandon's sincere perspective. In other words, he's not being duplicitous. I told him I was shocked to read that. I said, that's completely contrary to what you, you emailed me. What you emailed me is what I just read you. Nothing about calling me to repentance. So I, I fully understood he wanted my perspective, as so many differed with, to present that on the video, right? Here's this perspective. Here's this perspective. So I, I asked him about it. And again, in his heart and asking me the hard questions, he wanted to change my mind on things. I, I had no clue about that. No clue whatsoever. But in his sincerity, that was his perspective. So again, you know what was written to me and why I agreed to be on. So Brandon then immediately updated uh, the next day and said, yesterday's interview with Dr. Michael Brown went well. Thank you for your prayers. The goal of the interview was to present Dr. Brown with some challenging questions concerning certain hyper-charismatic doctrine and practices with the goal of getting him to change his mind and light of scripture. Again, as I told him, I didn't have the slightest clue he was trying to get me to change my mind. I was simply stating what I believed for decades as clearly and, and, and forthrightly as I could, the issues I have, the things I agree and affirm, etc. But in any case, th that was his heart. That's, th he felt he was doing that. So again, I trust him as sincere. I believe he's a very sincere young man. Dr. Brown, with all due respect, I think you're being a bit naive about Brandon. This is not an honest, ethical person. Brandon has a narrative that he's pushing, and that narrative is essentially charismatics bad, Calvinists good. He has recounted in several interviews how he grew up in a charismatic home and his parents took him to the Vineyard Church in Toronto during that outpouring about 25 years ago. When he discovered Reformed theology as an adult, he decided that he needed to take it upon himself to bring people out of the deception of charismatic theology and into the doctrines of grace. In his movie, he presented a couple dozen Calvinist ministers as the defenders of the true gospel while presenting charismatics like Bill Johnson, Todd White, Benny Hinn, Joel Osteen, and Kenneth Copeland as the purveyors of a false American version of the gospel, while omitting to inform his viewers that the Calvinists don't believe that Jesus died for everybody. He showed a clip of Benny Hinn saying that there are nine members of the Godhead without mentioning that he retracted that statement shortly after he said it nearly 30 years ago. 
He presented the late Nabil Qureshi to support his narrative without providing the video where Nabil talked about going to Bill Johnson's church and hearing the gospel explicitly proclaimed with zero heresy. He had people in the movie accusing Bill Johnson of denying the eternal deity of Jesus when Bill Johnson is on record saying that Jesus is eternally God. And despite his view that E.W. Kenyon didn't take his theology from Phineas Quimby and New Thought, Brandon included the clip of Justin Peters saying exactly that in one of the trailers for the movie. So it comes as no surprise to me that Brandon Kimber wasn't honest with Dr. Brown in his initial invitation to dialogue. Well, I hate to say I told you so, Dr. Brown, so I'll just say, te lo dije, amigo. I think it's admirable that Dr. Brown wants to give Brandon Kimber the benefit of the doubt, but when you look at his track record of twisting the facts and misrepresenting charismatics, it's hard to consider him trustworthy. He clearly has a narrative that he wants to push, and apparently Dr. Brown has now realized that. Good to know. Now, to be fair, I have a lot more time to research these things than Dr. Brown does. He has very limited time to pour through YouTube videos to find out where these content creators are coming from. Me? I don't have a school to run or itinerant speaking engagements to do or an international ministry to oversee, so I do the research so that you don't have to. So let me invite all of you to watch the videos I've done on Brandon and American Gospels so you can be up to speed. I'll link to them in the description. Thanks for watching and be blessed.